Hello. In this video, I will explain SSL inspection and our SSL certificate in both Web Titan Gateway and Web Titan Cloud. Firstly, I will explain it in regards to Web Titan Gateway. To view the settings for SSL inspection, you go to the filtering SSL inspection tab and you have three options. By default it is set to selected domains which means SSL inspection only occurs on the listed domains. The next setting is all except selected domains so it is the opposite to selected domains. All traffic is filtered for HTTPS except listed domains or it can be set to all traffic. SSL inspection means Web Titan Gateway can inspect the content of the URL and the web pages that come in HTTPS format. The way we do this is very similar to a man in the middle interception. We view and check the page. If it is okay, we pass it on to the requester. If not, it is blocked and a block page is then presented. For this to work correctly, you would need the SSL certificate pushed out to the end user's browsers and listed in their trusted root authority section. This can be very easily done via GPO and on our help desk we've got a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. You can access our help desk by going to helpdesk.webtitan.com and all our videos and guides are listed there. For Web Titan Cloud, once you have logged in, you go to the Tools and SSL Certificate tab. You can download the certificate by clicking the Start button. In Web Titan Cloud, it is slightly different. Because our cloud is a DNS filter, we are not reading the content of the page. We allow and block on the categorization of the domain. So out of the box, blocking will occur correctly on both HTTP and HTTPS. But for us to render the block page correctly within HTTPS, this certificate would need to be listed in the end user's browser. If it is not in the end user's browser, the web page will still be blocked and reported as blocked, but the block page will not show correctly.